Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I've decided kind of at the last minute to do a work week in my life. Um, this week I start my actual like true work schedule, like off training and everything. And my schedule is 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. And I don't want to give out too many details about my job just because I work for a tech company. But I can say that I'm working the international side of the business and I'm working with Australian clients, hence why I am working a night shift because I am working on Sydney time despite going to work in Phoenix. So it is a little after one o'clock right now and I think my whole team, is, or I think a lot of my team is coming in today because we are having a launch on today actually but like sydney time so it's tomorrow sort of if that makes sense um yeah so i'm gonna go grab dutch bros before i head to work because i need some dutch so yeah i don't know how long this video is gonna be or how productive it'll be but so also my eyes been super messed up, so there's ointment underneath it. Let's not talk about it, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip. So I live in the best neighborhood ever, and by that I mean I live right next to Dutch Bros. So I recently found out my office is moving, despite the fact that I just started. Don't you love when they do that? But we're moving to a really nice area. That being said, it's a much longer drive for me, so that should be fun. Um, and I'm kind of torn now because it's like, I absolutely love the neighborhood I live in. I'm probably overpaying for rent realistically, but I just love the location so much. And I mean, I'm not spending money on things like gas and I'm able to walk everywhere, which is honestly just really healthy for me to be doing, both in terms of like physical exercise and in terms of like, you know, I live where it's sunny every day. I should probably get out and enjoy that for the sake of not having seasonal depression. And yeah, so I'm kind of like, do I move and have a much shorter commute to work? Or do I kind of just suck up the drive and enjoy my neighborhood that I currently live in. Right now I'm leaning towards keeping this location, but I don't know, I guess we'll see cost-wise. Okay, I'm at Dutch Bros, I'm gonna order and I don't wanna bug this girl, so. All right, we're out of Dutch Bros. Secured the bag. They have new holiday cups, which I didn't know, that's so cute. I have never obviously like been to Dutch Bros for a holiday because I didn't, this is my first holiday here. So I don't know, that's dope, very cute. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They have to keep up with like Starbucks and everything, but um, let me know if I'm crazy, but is Starbucks getting like hella more expensive or am I just getting old? I literally got an eggnog latte at the Starbucks inside Target yesterday. And it cost me over $6. Is that crazy? I can't tell if I'm like overreacting about how much it's costing, but like, I don't know, man, $6, like that's like, I live in Phoenix, not freaking LA. Like, I don't know why I'm paying $6 for a latte. And don't get me wrong, Starbucks is good, but I mean, it's not like that good that it's like $6 worth. Whereas I can go and get an iced tea at Dutch Bros for $3.85. So yeah, that's irritating. Yesterday I had gone to, yesterday was my only day off, so let's start there. Um, the night before, Friday night, we had a team bonding event through work and, what is this guy doing? And yeah, that was fun, but I was out like a little bit later than I'm normally out, so no big deal, but it was a lot of fun. But anyway, long story short, I went home and I set up my Christmas tree that night and I just stayed up late to do it because 
If you have an artificial tree, you probably know that setting up your Christmas tree is one of the most just emotionally grueling and exhausting processes because like you have to fluff out each individual branch to make it look like a real Christmas tree. So it's not like this stringy, straggly looking thing. And God, it took so long. I started it probably like 8.30 and I didn't finish until like 11. And then the next day I realized, well, okay. So my parents mailed me my tree and my ornaments, but I realized that I didn't have any lights for it. So I went to Target the next morning and the next morning was a Saturday. And if, I mean, Target gets packed on Saturdays, I get it, but I needed some Christmas lights. So I got up at the crack of dawn and by the crack of dawn, I mean, I naturally woke up at 8.30 and without brushing my teeth or showering or anything, I just got in my car and went because I knew that I just needed like Christmas lights and I ended up getting garland just like for something extra to add, I guess. And anyway, so I got home and I bought one box of lights that was 28 point like six feet or something. So like close to 30 feet of lights. You would think that would be enough for one Christmas tree because the first box that I picked up had only 19 feet and my mom was like, you'll definitely need two boxes if you get the 19 feet. So I figured if I got the 28 foot, I mean, my Christmas tree is not that big. So I just figured that would be good enough. Plus it was cheaper because it was the Target brand, not like the Philips light bulb brand. So I got all the way home after going to Target and I started setting up my tree or like with the lights and the garland and everything. And it didn't even make it halfway. So my tree is like six foot, but it's really like probably like five foot six. And I was honestly like, how does 40 feet only make it around like less than half of my tree? Let me know. So again, before even having brushed my teeth, eaten breakfast, showered, anything, I had to get back in my car and go to Target. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining that much because I do love Target, but having gone to Target twice before even brushing my teeth in the morning is like a new level for me. And yeah, needless to say, I went to Target again today. So that's that. But yeah, I'm kind of, today will be an exception because it's the weekend and I know traffic is always worse on the weekends, but like in terms of like, there's no break to it rather than like having rush hour periods. So anyway, in general, I feel like working this two to 10 shift is gonna be like really nice. Cause honestly half my day is just spent sitting in traffic. Like the past two weeks I've been coming in from eight to four. And that means I have to get up early. And then I'm not complaining. I mean, I have a really good job, but on top of getting up early, by the time I get out at four, that's dead center in the middle of rush hour traffic. So it'll usually take me over an hour to get home. Like, what's the point? I might as well just work eight to five at that point and get some more money out of it. I don't know, I'm stressed. But yeah, so we're doing this again today. But there shouldn't be any rush hour traffic for the rest of the week at um, like 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. Definitely not at 10 p.m., but maybe a little bit at 2 p.m. But yeah, should be good. Um, I'm gonna turn my camera off now and just pay attention to the road and listen to some Christmas music. So I'll catch y'all tonight. What is up, you guys? I am back from work. It has been a full eight and a half hours since the last time I talked to you, but it is about 10.30 now, so... I just got home and I put up my Christmas tree yesterday. I just love Christmas so much and it makes me so happy. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys my Christmas tree. This will probably be up around Christmas time or at least December. So I don't know, I'll flip the camera now. So here's my tree, you guys. I don't know if I can get it all in one shot. Pretty good size. Definitely artificial, you can tell by the bottom. <laughs> Wanna see some of my ornaments? That one's a dog. 
also a dog. I love New York. I have a couple of these. And then right at the top of the tree, we got my favorite, my little angel Jedi. It's sitting with Santa. He's a good boy. And what else? I always like this one because it actually feels like a cupcake. Pretty dope. This one. I love hard cider, so I got that back in New York. Yeah, overall, pretty happy. Um, I do have a tree topper coming. My mom got me a dog angel one, which is just the cutest thing ever for the top, but it hasn't been delivered yet. So stay tuned for updates on that. So I'm not gonna stay up too much longer. I think I'm probably just gonna watch an episode of two or two of something on Netflix. I've been trying to watch Lucifer. I'm not sure if I'm like fully into it yet, but I like the concept. So maybe I'll watch that for a bit. Yeah, we'll see where the night takes me. I've been really wanting to watch The Wolf of Wall Street because all the guys that I work with like consistently reference it. And I've seen it before, but I just wanna like rewatch it and actually like understand the references, you know? So, yeah, I want to do that, but then I looked it up last night, and it's a three-hour-long movie. Yeah, I don't have that kind of time, nor that kind of, like, attention span right now. So, uh, I'm going to watch Netflix, and I'll catch you guys up tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll do something remotely interesting. See you then. What's up, guys? So, I just got up and made breakfast, and we're having corn pops because I was reminded of these in Target and yeah I think I'm a child again so we're rolling with that but they're delicious I don't know why it tastes like you're eating a bowl of caramel corn with milk on it and I'm really here for it so yeah anyway I just got up I'm about to watch some YouTube videos and I have to go to the chiropractor this morning before I go to work. And that's my favorite thing about working in the evening shift is that I get to get everything done before I go to work. So I don't have to stress about it when I get home. So yeah, I'm going to watch some YouTube and we'll catch up when I go to the chiropractor. What's up guys? I just got back from the chiropractor and my neck is locked on the left side. So basically what that means is I get to sit in pain for a week. Until next week, I can go back. So, that should be cute. But yeah. And if you can hear the sizzle in the background, I am making hamburger helper for lunch because it's dirt cheap, let's be honest. So, it's honestly pretty good. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. My family thinks I'm like nuts for eating it, but I don't know. It's not that bad. So, yeah, that's where we're at. What's up guys? Sorry, I look like this right now. I'm not sure what's happening with my hair. I got new shampoo, but yeah, we're trying to figure it out. Anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't come, I didn't vlog last night basically because I did the exact same thing that I did the day before, which I just feel like isn't gonna be that interesting to watch because it's just me drinking hot chocolate and watching Lucifer on my couch for an hour before going to bed. That's all I did when I got home. So, today I, again, don't work until 2, so I'm, I got, yesterday I didn't vlog much basically because I just had so much to get done in the morning. I had to go to the chiropractor, I had to go grocery shopping, and I had to make lunch for yesterday and then prep it for today. So, that's basically what I did yesterday, and today, because I did everything yesterday, I have kind of a chill morning. So, I was supposed to call my grandma yesterday. Didn't get a chance to do it because I was so busy with grocery shopping and everything. I literally got home and then I, it was like less than a half hour before I had to leave for work and I still had to shower and get ready and everything. So today I'm gonna call my grandma. And right now, while I wait for her to get home from her daily activities, cause she's way busier than I am, I am just making some Java chip cookies from a mix. I will flip the camera in a second. And I think I'm just gonna, I just need like Christmas. I know I already showed my Christmas tree, but like, why isn't it Christmas yet? I don't really understand. So we're making some Christmas cookies. So I'm literally just using Betty Crocker mix. These are actually like pretty fire. These are how the cookies came out. That one kind of broke a little, but 
They came out really good. I already ate two of them because healthy fitness things, you know? What's up guys? I just got back from work and I had a package from my parents waiting for me. And do your parents ever mail you just like the most absolutely random ridiculous items ever? Because same. So the intention of the package was my mom had ordered me a tree topper from this website. It's called I Heart Dogs. And basically like when you purchase from their website, I think it started as like either a Facebook page or an Instagram page. And they have like a website full of merch now. And when you order from their website, they donate meals, like dog food to shelter dogs, which is so dope. And they had a really cute Christmas tree topper that I loved and my mom found it. And she ordered it for me. It's here now, my parents shipped it to me. And in that box, they stuck in some other random stuff. So I thought I'd show you, kind of funny. So this is the dog for starters. The tree topper. I have to fix his halo, but it's an angel dog. Isn't that so cute? And the top of my Christmas tree is like all dog stuff anyway. Like, I don't know, dog ornaments. And then I don't know what these are or why, but they shipped me two of these. I mean, I really like popcorn, don't get me wrong. Just, you know, didn't really need any, but I'll take it. And then mayo chup one of my absolute favorite things and it's kind of funny because we were just talking about this at work the other day so i'm gonna have to slack my coworker tristan and tell him that that just happened because that's hilarious and then if you are from upstate new york specifically syracuse but this is from a restaurant called Postabilities in downtown syracuse and it's spicy you can read it at this point i'm sure but it says spicy hot tomato oil and it's basically like dipping, I'm not gonna open it cause I don't want it to go bad. Cause this is a lot for me to eat in like two days. Anyway, it's basically like tomato oil with like hot chili pepper, like red pepper flakes, like what you would have at an Italian restaurant. But it's like to dip your bread in. Sorry, this was a very convoluted explanation. It says pasta sauce, but at the restaurant they serve it like with this like really stretchy like glutinous bread that's really good so yeah so that's my little haul from home i guess and my parents are really good at surprising me with little things like that so if you're watching this thank you mom and dad i really appreciate it my grandma usually sends me cool stuff too she's really good at sending art for my walls because my walls are like basically still completely bare after four months of living here regardless um, for the rest of the night, I am just going to pour some eggnog, yes I hate me too, and watch an episode of Lucifer, maybe two episodes, depending on how tired I am, because tomorrow is Wednesday, and yeah, working 2 to 10 for tomorrow, and then Thursday, and then I'm off Friday and Saturday. So, see you in the morning. What is up guys? It is now the morning and I am just making a cinnamon raisin bagel with some cream cheese for breakfast and I'm literally just gonna watch YouTube all morning before I have to get ready for work so that's where we're at. What's up guys? I am about to leave for work but I have been making coffee every day before work so I realized while making it that I should probably record it and show you guys because it's actually really delicious. You guys are gonna think I'm weird but it's really good I promise. So I started out with three shots in my Nespresso machine which is over there. They're already made otherwise I would show you and let me flip the camera to show you the rest. Okay so here's the espresso we have I have a cup full of ice. I actually might even add a little more ice. Vanilla almond milk. This is a sweetened one. Whole milk from Shamrock Farms, which I think is an Arizona thing. I never had it in New York, but it's pretty high in protein. So basically I use this for another recipe and I want to finish it up. And Tarani coconut syrup because I'm delusional. So, first step to this is going to be the... Actually, I'm going to do this one first just because I want to finish it. We're just going to pour this in. It's whole milk, and I know a lot of people don't like whole milk, but I just need to use it. And then I already shook this. Okay. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at the color difference between the whole milk on the bottom and the almond milk on top. That's so interesting to me. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is the syrup. No idea how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do two pumps. I did three yesterday and it was way too coconutty. I'm going to stir this to the best of our ability. And then we're going to pour the espresso in. If you want it to look really aesthetic, you can pour that in a little bit softer and it'll kind of layer itself, but I'm not stressed about that. I have to go to work. All right, there you have it. Cup is from Wow Wow. Um, I will put their Instagram right here. Check them out if you live in Arizona. What is up you guys? It's actually Friday now and I forgot to finish filming on Thursday, but you didn't miss much. I basically just watched YouTube videos all morning. What else did I do? Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> didn't do much that day. And then work was kind of crazy Thursday night. We just had a lot going on. So by the time I got home, I just watched um, a couple episodes of Lucifer, which is, that show's growing on me. It's pretty good. And I had some eggnog and I've been binging Christmas cookies, oh, which is so unhealthy, but they're so good. And yeah, so Friday and Saturday are my days off. So it's Friday now, your girl's off and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. Staring at you on the airplane.